<laughs> What's going on, guys? It's Blue Deep Dive here, and welcome to the Shao Kahn Cup, the championship tournament, guys. I've been waiting for this tournament for a very long time. It's going to be a blast. Every monster match is going to be crazy today. Also, the nice animations you saw in the beginning of the video, you know, the bracket was made by Brennan at Mythic Productions. So guys, check him out. He makes cool YouTube intros and all that. The link is in the description. And let's get down to the match. Oh, nice EX from Sanix. You know who's gonna win, guys? That crazy Nair in black? Or that Quan Cheesy? You know, I hear uh, rumors that they're gonna patch Quan Chi. You know, he's not gonna summon Puggles when he's in the trance state. Can you imagine that, guys? No more Quan Cheesy? It'd be a nightmare. <laughs> I like seeing his overhead and low at the same time. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that. Oh shoot, things are not looking good for Panamix. This is his opportunity right here. You will obey. It's about to get serious. Oh, why didn't he do it, guys? Why didn't he, do oh shoot, never mind. I was about to say, why didn't Panamix do the overhead low at the same time? I remember last tournament, he was doing that everywhere. He was unstoppable. Fight. And the second round's beginning. Who are you guys rooting for in this tournament? I'm curious. Put in the comments. You know, every person in this tournament has like a great chance at winning. Oh dang, Sanic's trying to put on the pressure, yo. I got a couple comments from you guys saying, am I gonna keep doing MKX tournaments? And yeah, I'm gonna keep doing tournaments. You know, combat pack two hype. I wanna see you guys use, you know, Triborg, Cyrax. And Cyber Sub Zero, all those cool variations, Leatherface. Of course, guys. Can't believe you. Oh, there it is, guys. Overhead low at the same time. I don't know. This looks like Panamex's round right here. Oh, yeah, it is. Down to the third round. Was going to take the first match. You know, Panamex has a little bit of meter advantage. Oh, dang. Xanax just blocking perfectly. You know, freaking Panamex better get out of that corner, guys. If he doesn't get out of that corner, could be over for this match. Oh, nice. This is not good for Xanax. You know, Xanax is just really lucky that Panamex didn't go overhead low at the same time right there. Oh shoot, things are not looking good for Sanix. Panamix going in there, man. Cheesing. Oh dang, that freaking flurry of punches, I swear guys, that breaks armor. It's like the Liu Kang move. Oh shoot, I think it's over. And Panamix takes the first match. Quan Chi wins. And Panamix, cheesing. Cheesing with that Quan Cheesy takes the first match. Let's see if Sanex has an answer for that. And it has begun the second match. Oh shoot, Sanex already meter burning. Oh dang. Overhead low at the same time? I don't know, guys. Oh dang, I don't even know what Panamex is doing. Doing setups and combos I haven't seen with a Quan Chi. I love these tournaments, guys. I love hosting them. Oh shoot. Panamex is in trouble, man. I have a feeling Sanex is going to throw those, uh... Oh shoot. I'm about to say, man. Those traps he threw on the ground, I thought they were going to come out earlier. You know, Sanex likes to end matches like that. Panamex got to get out of that corner, man. Xanax got him right where he wants him. Oh, shoot. Terrific blocking by Panamex. Just looking for the right opportunity to get into that trance. And there it is. Oh, I'm not sure what he's doing right there. Oh, nice breaker, nice breaker. I'm not sure, uh... Like what Sanix is going to do here, every time he gets in the trance, he's just blocking everything. I don't know how he's doing it. 
blocking all the lows, the highs. Just a beast right now. Panamus is having a hard time. It's not looking like it's his match. But it just takes one trance. One trance to change the whole match. Dang. And Sanix just clutch, man. And takes the second match. Dang, and we're going to the third match. <laughs> Winner of this match is moving on in the tournament. And the third match has begun. Who's going to get that first hit? Oh, very nice from Sanix. Taking a little bit of risk there. It just it looks so weird every time Sanix does that uh, jump punch. It's like he, he does it so fast. It's like an uh, overhead starter. Like a jump punch. Oh, dang. And Sanix is going to work, man. Panamex ready to bring out the cheese. I keep thinking any time. Oh shoot, I think it's over. I called it guys, I knew it. I knew if he stepped in there one step, it was going to be over. Round two, fight. Sanix just having all the momentum right now. Panix got the meter. Panamex can still come back from this. He just has to play it smart, get one good setup and he's back in the game. I don't know. Sanix. Looks like he can't be stopped. Oh shoot guys, looks like it's over right here. It's gonna take a lot from Panamex to come back from this. Take no chip damage. Get the trance somehow. Oh, and it's not gonna be enough. And Sanix is moving on in the tournament. Aaron Black wins. Welcome back, guys. We got Wardog against Skrilla. Round one, fight. And the match has begun. Oh, very nice hit from Wardog. It looked like he just threw that punch out there. Just, uh, just to be safe. I don't think he actually thought he was gonna get that. It's very interesting that both these players are going with different variations. You know, Wardog going with that Noxious. And Skrilla with that Deceptive. I see a lot of Reptiles online and a lot of them pick the, the Noxious variation. You know that damage over time is just so good. You get a grab in. I mean you get even close. You take chip damage from the other person. They're always taking damage. But the deceptive is really good too. I mean once you turn invisible. Oh shoot like you can't even guess overhead or low. And Skrilla just clutch right there. To be honest I thought Wardog was going to get that. Because that noxious variation. That damage over time. Nice uppercut, nice uppercut. Oh dang, I was just waiting for that, guys. Wardog is in a heap of trouble right now. I don't know if he can get out of that corner. Oh, nice, nice. I thought he was gonna... You know, a lot of reptiles slide. Or do that uh, dash move. Very nice win from Skrilla. Reptile wins. You know, I thought Wardog was gonna have uh, a little bit of an edge with that noxious variation but every time he got Skrilla to a little bit of health you know that deceptive variation came in all those mix-ups let's see what Wardog's gonna do and the second match has begun he's gonna take that first hit damn it's taking a while a very nice hit from Wardog seemed like he didn't want to risk it right there I'm guessing if he did the, the acid ball if it was blocked, he get punished. You know, I don't play Reptile that much to know, you know, what can get punished or not. Wardog is just on his game right now. Doing everything he can to make sure Skrilla doesn't get anything. He has to earn everything right here. Wardog sticking to the fundamentals. Not putting too much risk out there. 
And if he does, he has meter too. We're kind of playing it safe and smart. Oh shoot. Could this be? Is Skrilla coming back? Is this the moment where he's going to change the momentum? Combos are getting real. I'm just waiting guys. I'm waiting for that deception. That deceptive variation to kick in. When is he going to turn invisible? Final round fight. It's about to get intense guys. If Skrilla wins this round, he's moving on in the tournament. If Wardog wins, we are going to a third match. This tournament is going to be like the rest, best two out of three, and character locked with the character you won your tournament with. Every time, every time it goes into the third match, in the third round, I always get nervous. And I'm not even playing, guys. Freaking tough situation. You don't want to see anybody go home when it's that close, man. Oh, shoot. And Wardog out of nowhere with that x-ray. And we are going to a third match. And Wardog putting everything on the line, throwing that x-ray, and luckily it paid off for him, taking the second match. Winner of this match is moving on. Round one, fight. Here we go guys. Everything is on the line. You drop one combo, it could be the end. Oh, nice overhead starter. I mean, not even the lag is gonna stop Wardog. He's going in there, man. I'm just waiting guys. You know Skrilla is a good player, he's not gonna go out like that. He's gonna have his moment and there it is. I was starting to think that... Oh! I thought that was gonna be guaranteed damage right there. You know, Skrilla thinking ahead, using that meter. You know I can't even tell anymore guys. I see one combo, I'm like, oh, this looks like it's going to be his round. Nope. War Dog is one round away. I'm just waiting. Waiting for Skrilla to just meter burn that, you know, invincibility. And then start going on that corner work. Oh, shoot, nice. Oh, it's getting intense, guys. War Dog has to get this round. Skrilla has to get this round. Oh, and the pressure is gonna do it for him. You smell like desperation. Here we are. Third match. Third round. It's about to get intense. Oh, nice breaker. Skrilla right now has a little bit of meter advantage. Taking the corner. Oh, nice block from that slide. You know, I keep seeing a lot of reptiles slide. It's a good wake up. Kind of anticipate it like Sub-Zero slide. Oh, nice grab. Everything is in War Dog's favor. Oh, damn. I didn't think that was going to connect. Very, very smart of me to burn that. Oh, shoot. It's not over quite yet. Oh, and it is. And War Dog is moving on. Welcome back guys, we got Emperor Cool against Connor Miles. Jeez, you know Emperor Cool one poke turns into a 30 percenter, I don't know how, it just does. Connor Miles with that dive kick, let's go to the match. And the first match has begun, and that freaking long range jump punch from Connor Miles though. I didn't know Sonya's jump punch was so, so long. Oh damn, man, Emperor Cool already got corner position, I don't know guys. This is a good opportunity right here. Oh, that dive kick. That's what I'm talking about, guys. I don't know how freaking Connor Miles, every time that dive kick gets out there, it just connects. Always connects somehow. 
I mean, it's gotta be cheese. I'm gonna start calling it cheese now, guys. I think, you know, Connor, yep. Connor gets that round, man. Emperor Cool, man. He has to get out of that corner. Oh, very nice setup. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That dive kit from Connor. You know, Connor, the way he's playing, you know, very, very confident. You know, doesn't respect that armored spin from Emperor Cool. And he's paying for it. Sometimes you gotta respect setups, guys. I thought Emperor Cool had that. I thought he was gonna get that grab, but Connor just moving out of the way. Who do you guys want to win this match? Damn, Connor going all over the place, man. I don't think there's a part in the stage he hasn't dive kicked towards yet. Nice, nice combo. Oh, in the very last second. That last hit from Emperor Cool didn't connect. Because of that, Connor takes the first match. Connor Miles without hesitation going for that fatality. Let's see if Emperor Cool can get his revenge. Round one. Fight. And let it begin, guys. Oh damn, Emperor Cool with that enhanced spin though, right away. You know, I feel like Connor Miles style of play is just to go all in. Just try to pressure your opponent to making them make mistakes. You know that not a bad idea. But when you face good players, you know, they'll take every advantage. You gotta be aware of what's not working, what is working. So just keep pressuring. You know, every time, you know, Connor Miles gets a little bit ahead. And Emperor Cool with that enhanced wake up. And he takes, like, every time Emperor Cool does something that works, it keeps working. Connor Miles is not adjusting. Emperor Cool slowly adjusting with each round, getting more and more ahead of the match. I mean, that's just how he's taking control, to be honest. Connor Miles going in there. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Then the hand spin. You know, Emperor Cool just knows when to throw it out there. Damn. Pressure is real. Oh, shoot. Like, I don't know what's connecting or not. Freaking Connor gets one hit. Misses one thing, but just keeps on pressuring, like I said, guys. Pressure, pressure, combo, combo, pressure. This is Emperor Cool's chance. He's got the corner. Oh, shoot. He's going to come back from this? If he does, man, I don't know what I'm going to say. Oh, the pressure is real. Oh, and Connor making sure that didn't happen. Connor wins this round. He's advancing in the tournament. Everything is on the line for Emperor Cool right here. He has to get this round and bring this to a match three. You do not want to be in the corner with Sonya. That is for sure. Emperor Cool with that signature enhanced spin though. Oh, Chain Fist. Here we go. Connor Miles better get out of there, man. I was about to say he had meter burn. I didn't know when he was going to use it. Oh shoot. This could be the game. Oh, is Connor going to take this? Oh, that drop. That drop though allowed Emperor Cool to come back. And Emperor Cool right away with that fatality. And we are going to a match three. Kung Lao wins. Fatality. Things are getting heated in the text chat, guys. Emperor Cool, Connor Miles, going to the third match, only one will move on. Round one, fight! And here we go, oh shoot, Emperor Cool, man. Everything on the line. You know, I got a meter burn spin for all the Kung Laos out there. I'm sure that's what his train of thought is right now. Connor Miles stuck in the corner, and there it is, that's his opportunity to come back. And he has the momentum right now. 
And there's him for a cool enhancement. Oh, he does. You know, Connor Miles, his kryptonite. Not respecting that wake up could be his downfall. And damn, combine that with Chain Fist, you know, Connor Miles. Better start thinking right now. You know, it's getting intense right now. It's getting very close. Even though these guys have a lot of life, it's a close match. A lot of you guys who play all the time, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, Connor, I don't know. He dropped that combo. You can't drop stuff right now. That's where it counts. Oh, and he makes up for it. And again. Emperor Cool with that enhanced spin coming back. Oh, the baiting. The baiting is real. The mind games. I was about to say, man, I thought he was going to do a dive kick. Oh, and that's going to do it. At the very last second. The enhanced spin. It's going to help Emperor Cool advance in the tournament. And here we are in the next match. We got Gamer Dude Punk against Shadow. Should be a very interesting match. You know, Shadow has a lot of good pressure with that Liu Kang. And Gamer Dude Punk just knows how to use those fans. He has killer combos. Let's see what happens, guys. One fight. And here we go. You know, every time a Liu Kang enters my champion tournaments, you know, I don't know what it is. Just luck, chance, 50-50s, they're always on their side. You know, Shadow's a pretty good player. The Gamer Dude Punk, you know, he knows how to think. Have you seen this previous matches? Always plays it smart. And he's going in there with that pressure. Oh, nice meter break. Damn. That flame fist, though. All that buff damage. You better be careful when you're facing Liu Kang with that variation. Oh, this is Gamer Dude Punk's chance. Oh, nice. Nice meter burn from Shadow. You know, I was about to say, you know, Gamer Dude Punk had the corner. It's a good idea to do some 50 50s. Oh, here's his chance. I can just smell the damage, guys. Oh, that drop, though. That drop could have been a 38 percenter. I mean, any time you see any Liu Kang with those fists all flamed up, you better run, man. And Shadow takes the first match. Liu Kang wins. And Shadow with that flame fist Liu Kang overpowering Gamer Dude Punk. You know, he has to win two matches, so Gamer Dude Punk has a lot of opportunity to come back. Round one, fight! And it has begun. And Shadow with the first hit. I didn't expect that fireball to hit. To be honest, I thought Gamer Dude got that. Oh, shoot. Very nice timing. You know, all that combo off that down poke. I mean, and just like that, you know, Shadow lost over 50% of his health. Gamer Dude Punk has all the momentum. You know, Shadow's playing it smart. He could have broke right there. You know, sometimes your ego gets the best out of you in, in a match. Sometimes when you're going to lose, don't break. Even if the person's going to get a flawless, you got to prepare for the next round. Save your meter, play it smart. And look at Shadow right now. Has that meter advantage for not breaking. Very, very patient. And Gamer Dude Punk, I don't know. If Gamer Dude Punk goes in there, makes Shadow break all that patience and all that planning for the next round worthless. Gamer Dude Punk, man, every time he tries to run away, somehow he gets w hit one time and that damage, man, from the Flame Fist. Oh shoot, nowhere to run. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like it could be... Like anytime you you think you're gonna lose for sure, just keep fighting. Keep getting meter. 
so you can benefit in the next round. I wouldn't sure. I wouldn't call it a meter burning round. Oh, nice pressure from Shadow. You know, call me crazy, guys, but like I would recommend if you're facing Liu Kang, does a damage buff to go in and attack. Usually, running away is gonna get you caught in the combo. Damn, Gamer Duke Punk in a good situation right here. Got corner position and everything. I was almost sure that second fan was gonna hit. Who are you guys rooting for? Liu Kang? Shadows Liu Kang or Gamer Duke Punk's Katana? Oh shoot, if he didn't drop that combo, it could have been over. But it doesn't matter. And Gamer Dude Punk takes the first match. It's about to get intense, guys. We're going to the third match. Let's go. Round one. Fight. Here we go. Third match. Winner of this match is moving on in the tournament. Both these players just evenly match. And the one combo is the difference. Oh, that drop. You can't drop anything right now, guys. If you face players like Shadow, you drop something like that, it could cost you the match. And this is Shadow's opportunity to go in there. I have a feeling, guys, that flame fist buff is coming in. Oh, there it is. Oh, nice jump. I keep thinking, you know, Shadow's gonna meter burn. Remember, do Punk playing it very cool right now. And those combos in the corner. Oh, shit, I don't know what he was trying to do there, but that 40%er. You know, it's said enough. <laughs> Round two. Fight. Shadow has a little bit of meter right here. I keep thinking he's gonna do that, that flying kick in hands. Power Shadow right here. I try to go in there close. Maybe with an enhanced bicycle kick, I'm not sure. Because every time uh, Shadow pushes Gamer Dude away, you know, the fans kick in. Oh, nice combo. So much chip damage, it's unreal. Use your head or lose it. And here we are guys, again! In the third match, in the third round. Everything is on the line. Gamer Dude Punk, Shadow have the same amount of meter. Oh, Gamer Dude Punk dropped that combo. Trying to get that corner position. Oh, nice blocking. Oof, that down poke would have connected. That could have been the match. Oh shoot, could be the match right here. Gamer Dude Punk doesn't drop this. Oh, I don't know guys. I don't know if Shadow can come back. Seems like, you know, Gamer Dude Punk, if he gets out of this corner, he can finish the match, but I don't know. Shadow making it so difficult and the Flame Fist. It's anybody's game right here. Oh, and at the very last second, Shadow's Fireball is taking him to the next round. Liu Kang wins. And here we are in the next match. We got War Dog against Sanex, another monster match. And let it begin, you know, every time I see freaking Aaron Black, I remember the Aaron Black challenge from MKX Mobile, freaking X-Ray, it's a one-hit kill. I'm so glad that's not happening on the console, I'd be raging everywhere. Right now, Sanex getting the pressure on. Oh, nice enhanced meter. Kind of expected a longer combo from Wardog. I think maybe Wardog just wanted some space. You know, Sanex had a lot of pressure, sometimes you gotta push someone away and kind of rethink your strategy. Oh, nice blocking from Sanix. You know, showing that experience. You know, a lot of reptiles, like I mentioned before, like to slide. You know, Sanix right away, blocking that slide. Oh, nice combo from Wardog. Oh, nice mix up right there. You know, I had a feeling he was gonna grab him. 
And they Aaron Black, you know, punch, 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 grab, shoot, shoot, shoot. You know, I don't main Aaron Black, so I believe he can do this in, vari in this variation. I'm not sure. Oh, nice blocking once again. And that experience is going to help him take the first match. Brutality. You enjoy that one? Aaron Black wins. I warned you. And Sanix taking no prisoners alive. Killing the crow. Taking the match. Let's see what Wardock can do to take the momentum back. Fight. And it has begun, guys. Oh, nice and hand slide from Sanix. You know, putting a lot of risk right there. Oh, shoot. It's going to be damaging, I can tell. Oh, that drop combo. That would have helped it. But either way, you know, the damage is real right now. Especially with Noxious. I believe, uh, when you grab someone in Noxious, like, you grab them, and you still take damage. Oh, damn. Calm yourself. Very, very nice. A lot of pressure right there. And Wardog just thinking, man. The acid ball was very nice. Fight. You know, I face a lot of reptiles. That acid ball can definitely slow down the match. I think if I were, you know, War Dog, I'd throw a lot more, you know, acid balls, the slow ones. Kind of slow down the match. You know, Sanex is always kind of, you know, trying to put on the pressure. A lot, a lot of pressure. It's good to take your opponent out of his rhythm. Oh shoot, I knew that was out of range. You know, because that's happened to me a lot. You know, War Dog, you know, trusting that interaction too much. And you know, War Dog has to get this round. If he doesn't, it's over for him in this tournament. You know, Sanex has to be clutch right here. You know, War Dog with that Noxious variation, all those crazy combos. You know, it's a good possibility he can come back. Oh, nice breaker. It's neck and neck. You know, War Dog has that meter advantage. Sanex playing very, very smart right now. Not finishing the combo, setting up for some chip damage in 50-50s. Oh shoot, and it is over. And Sanex is moving on to the finals. We got the next match. We got Emperor Cool against Shadow. Round one, fight. And the winner of this match is gonna meet Sanex in the finals. Oh, a nice first hit from Emperor Cool, man. Being clutch, you know, it takes one hit from Shadow. You know, those Flame Fists are not in this match right now. Duelist. I thought he picked Flame Fist for a second. I gotta be honest. Let's see if Shadow can use that Duelist variation. You know, it's rumored to be the best variation for Liu Kang, but it requires a lot of patience, a lot of grinding to learn the variation. As it has uh, yin and yang, as I like to call it. Emperor Cool, man. Seeing the potential. Not giving any chances, getting some room. And throwing that projectile for the win. You know, I have a good feeling for Emperor Cool right now, just because of that. You know, he had one move to secure the round. And even then, taking his opponent seriously. You know, making sure I gotta back up, make sure I get this one hit. Can't allow this comeback. You know, Shadow's a good player. And that definitely can happen, that comeback. Right now, he has the meter. Oh, we're switching to the lights variation, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> I don't know. The yin. The yin variation. Oh, nice grab. Things are not looking good for Shadow. You know, I don't know, guys. If things don't work out for Shadow, I'm assuming he's going to go Flame Fist. You know, Emperor Cool. He's been sticking with a lot of variations for Kung Lao, but I believe, you know, the one he's using right now, the Tempest, is his best variation. 
Oh, nice enhanced spin. Oh, he dropped it. But I think the chip damage is going to take him to the victory. And there it is. And Emperor Cool taking everything into account. Checking out all the situations. What's safe? How much meter do I have? Let's see if Shadow can come back. And it has begun. And like I predicted guys, Shadow going ahead with that Flame Fist. Changing variations. Maybe that Duelist is in the works. Oh damn, and Emperor Cool already got that corner position with that freaking Chain Fist. Keep forgetting the name of that move. I like to call it the armor breaking move. I'm curious how Emperor Cool is going to handle this. Every time Shadow gets that damage buff, once those hands go into fire, you better run or put the pressure on. You better have a teleport too while you're at it. And Emperor Cool somehow putting on the pressure of those grabs and takes the round. <laughs> round two, fight! You know, Shadow's got the corner. He has so much meter right here. Oh, nice. Emperor Cole putting on the combo. You know, I'm very surprised. Shadow keeping the patience, not breaking that combo. I keep expecting him to go for that damage buff. Put those hands on fire. Maybe he's comfortable right now. Maybe he's thinking, you know, I'm going to save it for the third round. Oh, very, very nice. I was almost sure he wasn't going to use meter. Thought Shadow was going to save that for the third round, try to win it. Get that advantage. And right now it's about as equal as you can get. Third round, equal amount of meter. Oh, things are not looking good for Emperor Cool, man. Oh, nice counter. I did not expect that at all. Oh, it looks like it's over, guys. And it is, and Shadow takes the second match. Liu Kang wins. Flawless victory. And Shadow turning on the beast mode in that flawless victory. But I don't know, it's not over quite yet. These two seem evenly matched. Round one. Fight. And it has begun. Winner of this match is moving on. You know, Shadow getting that flawless victory. You know, getting serious here. Both these players are very good, but only one can advance. Oh shoot, those, that damage buff, man. Every time, every time those fists turn into flames, could be over. Round two. Emperor Cool struggled a lot right there. He has a lot of work to do. He has to get two rounds. You know, opposed to Shadow only needs one round. Oh, nice enhanced spin right there. Oh, how did that grab miss? Oh, nice jump punch. You know, I think Emperor Cool didn't think he got that. Very, very smart for Emperor Cool throwing projectiles, teleporting until that damage buff wore off. I thought, I thought it was over right there. But you know, Shadow still has a lot of opportunity. Forcing, forcing Emperor Cool to break. You know, if he didn't break that, I don't know what would have happened. Final round, and this is a winner of this round. Headed to the finals. Oh, and Shadow going in strong with that pressure. And he has full meter. You know, I smell it in the air, guys. You smell that? I smell a yellow x-ray. Oh, very nice. I just keep expecting like a random x-ray. You like Shadow does that dive kick you know, the x-ray. You know the salt is everywhere. Oh that enhanced spin though. Very very nice. Well I'm surprised guys. I'm surprised that x-ray didn't come out. To be honest that would have been the only time in my tournaments I would have been like yeah the x-ray. That YOLO made sense. Oh shoot the mix-ups are real. Is it over? I can't tell. Oh it's not. It's not. And now it is. And Emperor Cool takes the match. Wow, 
And everything has come to this, guys. The final match of the season. Who will be the king? Round one, fight. And this is it. Who's gonna get that first hit? You know, I'm sure both players are very nervous. Very determined to win this match. Become the king. What the heck? I didn't know that counted, guys. Freaking tack, it's the first hit. Never seen that before. Oh, there's that damage over time. You know, Sanex stabbing Emperor Cool with that Baraka Blade. Oh, very, very nice. You know, Sanex taking a risk. Ooh, the setup, though. Step into that grab. Emperor Cool going for that guaranteed damage. Oh, again! And Sanex just fortunate. Fortunate that Emperor Cool has no more meter. Otherwise, I think that third time would have worked too. And Emperor Cool just playing very smart right here. Getting the chip damage. Yep, very, very smart. Getting the chip damage. Backing away. And he takes the first round. Round two. Fight! Oh no. Oh no. If you get blocked by that dive kick, you're so punishable. Against players like Sanix, you can't afford that. It could be. It could be Emperor Cool's mistake. You know, everything from that one move got him in the corner. He lost over 50% of health. He is in danger right now. If I were him, I'd keep all my meter for the next round and try to do as much as I can without the meter. Like I said before, guys. I was so sure the Emperor Cool was gonna save his meter. But Sanix just too clutch, man. I was like, the best thing in my my opinion Emperor Cool should have done is save all his meter or do an x-ray. But Sanix just Oh damn, this is where all the meter's gonna kick in. I have a feeling, you know, Sanix. Oh, there's Sanix's opportunity. If he gets enough damage, enough of this setups over here, it could be the match. He has the momentum right now. Oh, very nice. I did not expect that. I expected an enhanced spin. Man, Sanix is just so smart right now. Every time, just making sure. He has the corner position, making sure damage over time. Just playing like a beast right now. And it takes the first match. Aaron Black wins. And Sanex is one win away from becoming the king. Or will the crown be taken from him by Emperor Cool? Round one. Fight! And let it begin, who's taking that first hit? Who's gonna get that meter advantage? You know, both players very nervous right here. Oh, very nice enhanced spin. He better not drop this combo. He missed the final two hits of that combo, not too bad. You know, Sanex just waiting for his opportunity. Emperor Cool doing a very good job baiting. Getting the spacing quite right. Oh, for a second I thought uh, an Emperor Cool was gonna go for that chain fist though. Every time, I don't know how how it happens. You know, Sanex always gets corner position, always gets damage over time. I mean, he's always thinking ahead. Seems like he's just a little bit one step ahead. Emperor Cool's got to think a little bit more right here. Oh, very nice setup. That setup from before. Ooh, I thought he was gonna dive kick, but I don't think it's worth the risk. You know, that dive kick can get punished so bad. Oh, very nice combo. Stop and you pay me. Round two. Fight. And Sanix one round away from becoming the king. And Emperor Cool has enough meter to come back. Oh shoot, nice breaker right there. For a second I thought he was an enhanced spin. But that breaker works too. Anything to stop the momentum. Try to put it in your favor. Oh shoot, I don't even know if that was on purpose. 
Either way, gave enough space for Emperor Pool to rethink things. And Sanix just trying a lot of 50-50s. Overhead lows, overhead lows. Emperor Cool too much on the defense right now. I mean, it could be over. That damage over time is in play. Oh, and there it is, guys. And Sanix becomes the king. I hope you guys enjoyed the tournament. Smash that like button. And I'll talk to you guys later. Ha 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 